Hey guys, see Drama Invasion here and I woke up to some very disappointing and shocking news today. So of course we're going to be discussing the Dunglin scandal and if you want to see more similar scandals explained videos, you can check out the playlist in the description box below as well as consider subscribing because I do do updates on relevant news in the Chinese entertainment and drama industry. So for this video, I did ask my subscribers if you wanted to see this video first and I will delay the episode 92 of C-Drama updates and news. I post around two to three times a week so this will mean that video will show up around like two or three days late so it won't be too long. But thanks for giving your feedback and let's just jump on into it. So on the morning of March 15th, the news did break out that Deng Lin has been caught evading taxes from 2019 to 2020. He did falsify his declaration to a fake business company and he evaded personal income taxes around the amount 47.658 million yuan, which is equivalent to evading around 7 million 472 USD and also underpaid or cut corners around 2.2 more million USD in personal taxes. Finally, it's declared that he has been fined for a total of 106 million yuan, which approximately is 16.6 .6 USD. Finally, his studio did come out and admit his mistake and apologize. The article that did come out um, saying all these things did say that he is cooperating at the moment with investigation and will be repaying the taxes. In his studio's apology, he did say that he is deeply reflecting on his actions and is willing to accept all the responsibility and consequences. His studio account and social media accounts have all been closed right now. All the threads with him in social media are slowly getting taken off and deleted due to legal violation complaints. I do want to note that I am doing this on the day of the news breaking out, so if there's more details and something that drops, I might do a follow-up video or I might just leave a little comment in the description box below, so keep an eye out for that in the upcoming days. For China's hot search ranking, some of the most popular hashtags at the moment are Deng Lun apologizing for his co-workers and the people that he hurt. So he feels sorry for Nini to the Ashes of Love team, Crass and Crew, and Great Escape. A lot of the brands he worked with is dropping him swiftly after this news. Now let's get into the fans reaction and how the internet is reacting in general. So you have like the memeing camp as usual. We have some people on Twitter, early reactors saying that it went from ashes of love to ashes of Korea real quick, which is kind of funny and really sad at the same time. I want to say that as a fan, I am extremely, extremely disappointed in Deng Lin. And honestly, there has been so many scandals happening and especially I feel like in China you would know how harshly the government or different agencies NRTA, Kappa, etc. would react to you and will basically cancel you in a snap. And I keep on thinking to myself why are big name wealthy celebrities such as Fen Bingbing, you have Zhang Shuang as well who were all um, evading taxes and now Deng Lin like doing this just to cut corners and make like, I guess, benefit themselves in the short term, but they're not thinking long term. Like what happens when this gets spilled? Of course your career is gonna be over. And because they're so harsh and severe with punishment too, you should probably know better than this. Really no one is defending him. I guess the only thing is that at least he did own up to it faster than usual and he is like out there paying his taxes etc right now and admitting his mistakes but because of the situation of course all of his dramas variety shows etc his castmates friends or co-workers will all be affected and because it's official now nobody's really defending him on the internet i mean you can't because he literally committed a crime most people are betting that he will end up on the blacklist at the end of 2022, you know, like at the end of the year. I think last year they listed a whole bunch of artists and internet people that were just not going to make a comeback anytime soon and are blacklisted 
off the entertainment industry, social media, etc. Anywhere to promote themselves, I guess, and have a big following. This is to limit their influence on the younger generation or internet people in general, as well as mass media. And we also did talk about internet laws that changed last year. So anything toxic or will be giving discussions where people might support like the negative outcomes or discuss it. It's like a good and bad thing for one. I guess they can limit toxicity on the internet, but also they are infringing on um, just freedom of expression in general. With that, there's no perfect solution, I think, to trying to control the internet and just misinformation in general. But anyways, a lot of fans are pointing out that it's most likely that The Night Wanderer with Nini will probably not air. Or if they do decide to not drop the ball on that and hire a new actor, of course, they're going to have to come in and redo all the scenes. It's kind of a similar situation with the golden hairpin right now. They're still looking for a new male lead and a lot of people are just turning that down because of the bad rep it has tied to Chris Wu and his scandal. If you compare this to a lot of the other stars that happen, like we talk about Zhang Shuang, we also talked about Fan Bingbing. Do you think he's really realistically going to have a chance to come back even if he's paying his taxes and doing everything right right now? If you're looking at the track record and everything, I feel like he might be able to be like Fan Bingbing where I think she's going to different brand events. However, you're not allowed to air anything that promotes them. So no dramas, no TV shows, nothing like that. So to summarize the general reaction to this is that they're disappointed and they're surprised that he doesn't know any better just because of how restricted these bans are, the outcomes, the consequences of other stars recently in the past. I hope he learns from this and he truly changes. There is one little thing to discuss, which some discussions of who did he piss off in the government or in that circle to leak out this news because lots of people are discussing this might be a very common behavior, not saying that it's acceptable by any means however you know behind closed doors who really knows so allegedly some theorists on the internet are saying yes he did do wrong but this may be a common thing and he might have made somebody really mad to just leak out this news and throw him under the bus or there might be more turbulent news and they're trying to use him as a way to cover up some things and distract the media but who knows this is going to like conspiracy territory, but let me know if you think there is some truth behind that or your opinions down in the comments below. The Night Wander was hands down probably in my top three most anticipated dramas to come out. The trailer looks absolutely beautiful. I really do hope that they don't just give up all that hard work and hopefully it could be saved somehow maybe with editing or a new actor coming in if Nini is willing to put in some more work into that. It would be such a shame to just give up such a good premise of a drama concept because of this but I'll let you know if anything new comes up and make sure to subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on future updates and I'll see you guys in the next video.